Cooper Criswell and the Boston Red Sox Cooper makes his Fenway Park Red Sox debut and they need him to be efficient and get them some innings here today in the stead of Nick Pavetta slap to third Dahlbeck has a good arm got it there in time that's a good start one away and here's uh, Nolan Shonawell 2 2 breaking ball is in there strike three a beauty Call it a sweeper, look more like a curveball. 77 miles an hour, and it froze. Trying to well for the out. So two up and two away. Mike Trout will be the next batter. Pop that up on the infield. Casas there. Valdez there. Into right field will make the play. First of all, with a nice quick start, more ways than one. Griffin Canning is on the mound for the Angels. Second straight start against the Red Sox. Here's Canning's 2 1, and swinging is Duran. He hits a ball and a hop right to Drury, the second baseman, and he will easily throw him out. So one gone. One down for Abreu. A couple of hits in his last game, but he's only four for 21 with one RBI. He'll fly that one to right. Hicks was pretty deep coming on to make a sliding attempt, but he drops it. Abreu wants second, and the throw will be late. So the Red Sox catch a break. Hicks dropping it in right. He was really backed up, so he had a long way to come in on that. Yeah. He was playing deep. I thought the tough part was actually getting to this ball. He slides kind of right there in front of him, but good hustle from Abreu out of the gate out in front of that little breaking ball. He'll take it to start. So Yoshida trying to pick him up. He's the DH hitting out of the three spot. One, two, little looper toward right field, and that's going to drop in. Here comes the run. They didn't hit it hard, but he hit it deep enough. And the Red Sox take a one nothing lead on the RBI by Yoshida, his fifth of the season. Really good read by Abreu, who had a good first inning here as far as hustling, getting to second base, and then getting a read and scoring that first run. Here's Costas, 250, a pair of home runs, one of them against Canning. There's a swing and a drive. He hammered this, baby. Watch this one fly. Oh, did he crush it. Casas way out into the bleachers, and the Red Sox grab a 3 0 lead. <laughs> he put the hammer down on this baby. Man, you're talking about staying back on a combi almost like you know it's coming. He throws Canning, tries to throw a change up. Casas puts a fastball swing on. He hits this ball 429 feet, 111.9 off the bat. Mm. Uh, here he comes. Yeah, he's wearing the medal <laughs> for hitting one 429. You, know, you should get a medal. We got the home run dance going on now. Maybe it's going to be the home run medal. Here's Ed Manuel Valdez, 0 for his last 17, one homer. Valdez will swing and drive that one the other way toward the wall. Ward a long run. He can't get to it. It lands on the warning track. Valdez to second and pulls up there. So Ward could not track it down. And the Red Sox have their third extra base hit of the first inning. Manuel Valdez breaking an 0 for 17. He takes a heater down the middle, drives it the other way, and is rewarded for it with a double. So the Red Sox knocking Canning around again. And already seven batters in. That'll bring up Rafaela. In play here to short. Neto will flip on, and it's going to be late, and another run is in. So for Rafaela, it paid off not to hit it hard. That's happened a couple of times in this inning. Also on the Yoshida base hit. Yeah, and this is a beautiful thing for him. You know, kind of struggling, searching for knocks. It's really about the direction of it, right? If it's hit up the middle or too netto, he probably makes this play. But because he had to go far to his right, speed of Rafaela pays off. And it sends up Reese McGuire, the eighth Red Sox batter. There goes Rafaela on the first pitch. He'll hop his throw down. A good one. Rafaela slid off the back, so he's just going to run around until they tag him. And finally, Rendon does to end the inning. So Rafaela had the base stolen, but over slid the base, and he's the third out. Bases are loaded. Zach Neto is the hitter, the shortstop. Very slick fielder who made his debut here at Fenway last April. 0 2. Ground ball to the middle. Hamilton will scoop it, flip it, and get the out on the force play. And Criswell gets out of the jam despite loading him up. So two gone, a man at second. And Abreu will try and pick him up. He doubled his first time up off the glove of the sliding Hicks and right. 2 1. And a base hit rolled into right. 
Hamilton will score easily on the RBI. You're right about Abreu, two for two. He's starting to come alive with that swing, and it's five nothing. Just mechanically, right? Just getting a little twisted, getting a little bit long, and that's the thing that's so impressive with him. It's so simple. He's in a strong low preload almost. He just rocks a little bit. But the swing was getting a little bit long. They've been working hard at it for some time, and really the last couple of days being rewarded. There's a number three hitter, Yoshida, who drove in the first run with a single to right. Runner taken oh. off and dropped by Ohapi. So Abreu with a theft. He steals second. Red Sox running early, too. And he'll drive that one on the line into left field. Abreu rounding. Ward firing. And he will score. And down to second easily, Yoshida. He's two for two. Red Sox lead at six zip. So Rendon moves up to second. Two outs in the inning. 5-3 on the ground out. Taylor Ward will be the batter. Taylor Ward with a fly ball to left center field. Hit pretty well. Rafael is still going back. He's looking up, and it's gone. All right, Taylor Ward hit that one a long way. Way out over the wall in straightaway center field. The way Rafaela went back for it. Looked like he had some idea where it was, and he knew where it was all right, about 15 rows back in center field. Yeah, I mean, that's the, now his ninth hit, including back-to-back -back games of home runs on breaking balls. He is crushing breaking balls. Boy, is he on fire. Well, Nolan Shonowell found that ball off his thigh on a pitch that was inside in the top of the third. Now he's out of the game. Miguel Sano takes over at first base. One out in the fourth. And here now David Hamilton. And he'll find an open space in the right field for a base hit. Gotta get Sano out of the way. Hamilton's a fast man. Rounded first base. Runner taken off, a strike, and the throw is off into the outfield. Hamilton up and running. He'll easily get into third. Sox have been really running today, and it's paying off. Stolen base and an error on the catcher. So runner at third, one away. One, two, and a little fly ball in the left field. Ward coming in a little bit. Hamilton tagging. Here he comes, the throw offline. And Durant does his job. It is seven to two. That's Greg Weiser on the mound now with the Red Sox. Chris will give the Red Sox four innings, and he was pretty good. One on, one out for Trout, who grounded out 5 3 and popped to the second baseman. And Trout takes one inside off the mid of the catcher and down to second. Scoots the base runner. Don is there. It's likely to be a pass ball. And the 3 2 down he goes swinging. With the fastball, put him away. Perfect location. Big strike out there. Just some loud contact. And here's Taylor Ward. High fly right center on his horse, Rafaela. Backing up Abreu. Abreu will lunge and make the play. They were both in the area code, and Abreu ran it down. Long drive, but for out number three. Valdez is on, and Rafaela, the center fielder, will be the next batter. My ball hit pretty hard toward right center field. Trout is chasing it out near the wall. Trout makes the catch, leaning over the top of the fence. As Rafaela gets robbed of extra bases at least. That short wall out there in right center field. And Trout able to go back and make the ground. Ball has kept carrying there too. And now that we talked about two defensive runs saved already this year for Trout. Back towards that wall. He's got a good chance of getting over the wall. Look, it would have been. Trout robbed one. There's McGuire, a single and a strike oh. goal got him picked. Valdez is trying to get to second. Nobody covering second by the tumble, and Sano tags him out. I like the way he fell on that wrist. And Valdez in pain, and here comes the manager and a trainer. Sano closing fast, and that guy's like 6'4, 260. He sort of just, oh, he trips and falls, and then Sano falls on that left wrist. That is not good. That's a big man. So Pablo Ray is getting loose here in this dugout. Keep an eye on. Valdez going underneath. On we go to the ninth inning. Joelis Rodriguez trying to put the finishing touches on this one. The Red Sox leading at 9 2. He'll face Drury. It's Brandon Drury. It's a little chopper that will turn into an infield hit. So the batter now for the Angels is going to be Joe Adele. He's going to pinch hit for Mickey Moniak. 2 2. Swung on and missed. He put him away for the first out in the ninth. He gets Adele. That slider from Joelli, and this is a pitch you really got to work, get ahead with it, and then bury it. Tonight he's locating with it. It's a good slider down. Here's Ohapi. He's been on a couple of times a walk in, a single. There's a drive toward the monster off the bat of Logan Ohapi. It's about halfway up the wall. 
And it is a long single as we've seen a few times already in this series. See most other ballparks that's a double. Maybe a triple depending on how it kicked off the wall here a single. Grant played that really well off the wall. So the Angels have a pair on here with one out and Neto the batter. 2-2. Two -two. And a ground ball to short. Hamilton. That's one on the first double play. And that will end it on a twin killing. Nice to see that turn. For the Red Sox and the losing streak. They stay over 500 as they beat the L.A. Angels. The final Boston 7 and Los Angeles 2.